Good morning, Canada. Got some dates. Have a couple dates for breakfast. Go for a little run in the woods. All right. Little bit colder here. Little bit colder. I think it is about seven degrees Celsius right now. So a little bit of a shock to the system. Not too bad though. Uh, not bad at all. Not even really a shock, you know. Just super fresh, clean air, um, clear sky. Oh, this air, man, so good. I'm going to uh, probably run for an hour, hour and a half. Maybe run, maybe walk a little bit. Not really too concerned about uh, getting any kind of speed. Just want to get out and enjoy nature. This thing behind me definitely was not here the last time I came running on these trails, but pretty cool got some faces on there man I am just having an absolute blast going through these trails it's like cold enough just cold enough I can see my breath you might see a little steam coming off my hands here that's a deer I can't explain to you how much I'm enjoying this. Oh, yeah, the air is just so fresh, just so fresh. There's more deer down there. Can you see them? Ten Ks on the trails cannot begin to say how good that felt. It felt so good. Approximately 13 degrees Celsius, give or take. Heading into town to do some errands. So excited once again. I was so excited for the trails this morning and I'm so excited for these roads. I have not ridden these roads around Caledon on a proper road bike with a power meter in it's gotta be over two years now. Coming back from town now, brand new road here. Never seen this road before. And they have a designated cycling path beside the road. This is what cycling paths or lanes should look like, you know? It's not, it doesn't really make much of a difference if you just paint a bike lane on a road. You know, I mean, a lot of the times the bike lane is more dangerous than just riding in the actual lane because people don't respect the bike lanes, you know? But if they can build like bicycle only paths like this that are physically separated from the road, uh, then that's that's really good. That's what uh, you know. That's the ideal situation. Not that I have any problem riding on the road, but I know that a lot of people don't ride their bike because they're afraid of traffic. So if we can get more of these paths around, that would be great. Or of course, actually, what would be a lot easier is if everybody just stopped using their cars so much and started riding their bikes around instead. That way, the roads would be less busy. People would feel more comfortable uh, riding their bike on the road. You know. Motors, we get used to seeing cyclists more. That's why I try to bike everywhere. Just try to make cycling as po as popular as possible. Because, yeah, especially in you know cities, man, it, like cars just take up so much space and it's just so slow. You know, bad for traffic. It's way better if people ride their bikes. So, uh, yeah, just get out there, ride your bike on the road. All right, guys, just finished awesome dinner. So tired. It's only eight o'clock right now. I am just absolutely exhausted. I'm just going to pass right out. And then, uh, yeah, get an early start to the day tomorrow. It's good to be back in Canada for a little while. Fun going on the trail, going cycling around today. Great weather. Definitely chillier than Thailand, but hey, it's all right. It's all good. But yeah, I'm just so exhausted. The time change is just, you know, it's the best just get up early. Just get up early right after and just get into that routine. So yeah, I'll go to bed now. It's not a bad time to go to bed anyways, eight o'clock. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.